Well, hello there, Sketch Uppers. I have got a fun project for you. We're going to make a rocket, but I want to make sure that we switch to the Simple Template Millimeters. Once you've made that switch, let's name it Rocket with our name on it. There's my rocket, and I'll put my mic. And you'll have to click your SketchUp folder and hit Save here. Click on the gentleman in the middle, and let's remove him. And then remember, SketchUp is a click and release program. So click the rectangle tool and choose the circle tool so we can make the body tube for our rocket. This is real important for the fins. I need you to touch the green axis. And when it says on the green axis, type the number 15 and press enter. What that does is it makes a tiny circle that we're going to zoom into using the zoom to extents tool. This will be the body tube, and we're going to make it look like a body tube by using the push-pull tool. When you click push-pull, just start up the blue line, and then type 120 for how many millimeters it is tall. Let's check the zoom extents again, and now you can see our awesome rocket body. Use the select tool to grab the entire rocket body, and right-click, and make it a group. Once you've done that, when you hit the Entity Info, it has a volume, which means we created a solid, which is a good start for our project. We're going to get this out of our way by right-clicking it and choosing Hide. Let's zoom in a little bit, and it's time to make fins. We are going to make our fins with the Rectangle tool. So click that circle and then click the rectangle. Click that origin and on that green axis, we're going to type five millimeters, comma, and we are going to go 25 millimeters out for the shape of our fin. Switch to that push pull tool and we're going to lift it up 30 millimeters. Let's zoom to extents again. And there is our nifty fin. We're going to slice it into a fin shape using the line tool. Pick any angle that you think looks cool for your fins, and then use the push-pull tool. I'm going to orbit by pushing the scroll wheel, and I'm going to push that across till I'm touching the edge, and it cuts out my awesome fin. Once again, we are going to select it by grabbing it all, and we're going to right-click it, and we're going to make it a group as well. Switch to the Nifty Move tool, and we want to move its center to the midpoint. And then remember, our body tube was 15 millimeters wide, so we're going to click this center, and we're going to touch the green line, and we're going to move out 14 millimeters away. That makes sure that our rocket's fins are touching the body in a moment. Switch to the Rotate tool, click that origin, click on the edge of our fin, and notice it spins around, which is wonderful. If we hit the control button, it makes a copy, and we have instantly got two fins. Let's switch to the select tool, and if you drag from the right side to the left, it grabs both fins. Once again, we're gonna go to rotate. Once again, we're gonna use the origin, and we're gonna click on the face of the group. As soon as we hit control, it toggles, and now you've got four fins for your rocket. Let's save that, and then click the display and bring back everything by doing unhide all. Let's zoom to extents and see how cool our rocket is beginning to look. I would like my rocket to be a little taller, so I'm going to click on the body tube, and I'm going to switch to the scale tool. And if I grab the middle one, I can just raise my rocket up to the height I want. You can adjust until you're happy. I'm going to draw the nose cone on my rocket right now by switching to the circle tool, moving to the edge, and then moving to the center. When I draw my circle, I want to make sure I'm touching an endpoint and make it the same size. And then I'm going to switch to the line tool. I'm going to go from the edge to that center. I'm going to go up the blue axis as high as I want, out to one of those endpoints, and connect it to make a triangle. This lets me use the super cool 
follow me tool where I can click on a face and simply trace the outside edge and make the nose cone for my rocket. I'm gonna select the body tube and I'm gonna hide it. And when I look underneath, I can see that it was not a solid piece. By clicking the line tool though, I simply connect two endpoints together and I now have a solid shape as soon as I group it. You can double check to make sure it is a solid by switching to its entity. If it has a volume, it is. When you do show all, which once again is down on the display, you can take a look at your finished rocket. If you want your nose cone to be more sharp, you can use that same scale trick to raise it up and make it more what you want. I am ready to paint my awesome project, so I'm gonna go to the materials. I could use the default colors. I can also scroll down and find the colors tab. And when you find the colors tab, you can pick any colors you want. I'm gonna put red on my cool fins. I think I'm gonna put blue on the other fins. I think I'm gonna make my nose cone red. And let's see how this looks. Because those are all grouped, it is that easy to paint your epic rocket. When you're done, make sure you save it so you don't lose your changes. I hope you've enjoyed building this super cool, simple rocket. Please, if you get a chance, click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, you know how to click that button as well. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that notification button. Thanks for watching, SketchUpers. I hope you had fun, and I hope you are increasing your basic skills while using SketchUp.